space travel, then you should check out today's sponsor, Honkai Impact 3rd, the next-gen open-world sci-fi game available across platforms. Huh? Honkai Impact 3rd has so many ways to play, from mini-games to exciting combat using collectible characters called Valkyries to exploring all new places. Part 2 of the story is launching soon and will be set all the way on Mars, where you'll see all new exciting landscapes and characters. Version 6.9 introduces new story events, giving you the chance to earn tokens, treasures and outfits, like in the Promare crossover event. Look at all these spicy fire-themed outfits for characters like Hersher, Flame Scion, and Chrono Navi. Or check out the all-new S-Rank Battlesuit Mech character, Siren. She has magical girl powers and flaming, uh, scissors? Description to download it today. If you use the code PROMARE, you'll also get tons of rewards and bonuses in-game to explore. And check out the Honkai Impact 3rd YouTube channel on September 22nd for an update about part 2. Now back to the video! That's so nice! the bad guy call me wait a minute hold on now hold on i'm seeing a course <laughs> criminal santa tell me if you're really there ariana <gasps> ew now we gotta go Thank you, Santa. Santa, baby, I want a yacht. <laughs> <gasps> Little mix. Oh, yeah. There can be a hundred oh, people man. in the room. Ho, 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 ho. Where's my fucking. Take away your things and go Bitch You've got such a pretty face But such a dirty mouth You might be right but I don't care I'm leaving Oh no, we gotta go My Cardi B, shut the fuck up Meh <laughs> The Bluetooth device is connected us successfully. Ah. Gonna be another mountain. Ah. I'm always gonna wanna make one by one. Do I hear? Ah 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 ah. So baby, come pass me a line. We're gonna live them on fire. Hey there, have you ever wanted to play a game of Roblox DOS with me? Cyber Legends Animations? <laughs> I'm uh, talking to the viewers. Well, now you can! Join me live on the 26th of March, 9am EST, which you may need to convert into your country's time, which is in two days. Make sure to hit my channel page, 
subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the stream. <laughs> Dream uploaded a new video. Let's see what it's about. I will slowly be deleting all pictures of me online. And delete that picture of my you know what. And going back to just being a gamer in a mask. What? No, dude! Hide my identity, even if public, at McDonald's, or any place I need to go. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart to those that supported me, even though I am ugly. Yo! Mr. White! Jesse, did I give you permission to speak to me? Mr. White, I want to show you something, yo. No, I will not. Yo, Mr. Pains. White. I'm busy, Jesse. Mr. White. I'm supposed to be cooking. I made you bread. What? I made you bread, Mr. White. This isn't our product, Jesse. We are gathered here today to say goodbye to a great man. Sure, he was responsible for fattening up American kids, and his apple pies have scorched countless mouths. But he was an innovator. He was a leader. And most importantly, he was our friend. We will miss him dearly. Who would have guessed it'd be a massive coronary, diabetes, and total organ failure that killed him? Uh, I think everybody would have guessed that, Grimace. The man ate 12 Big Macs a day for 50 years. It's a miracle it didn't happen sooner. No offense. None taken. Sorry I'm late. You missed the service. I told you not to have it before 11. Breakfast just ended. Grab a drink. Fry Guy was about to do a toast. <coughs> when I think of Ronald, I'm reminded of a poem by Maya Angelou. It begins with- I'm glad that clown is dead. Get the hell out of here, Hamburglar! This is a private gathering! Oh, I think I'll stick around, thank you very much. You see, I did time for that red-haired prick, and I've kept my mouth shut about all of you for long enough. Okay, just uh, take it easy. What's the matter, Big Mac? Ronald's not here to protect you anymore. Tell me, who's gonna keep your name out of the paper next time you strangle another hooker? Big Mac, you've brought shame to us all. Oh, you're no angel, Mr. Mayor. Who do you think kept you in office unopposed for all those years? What do you think happened to all your competitors? Hey, hey that's enough out of you, Hamburger. That's right, your precious clown had me chop them all up and turn them into McNuggets. What? We're made of chopped up politicians? Well, that and chicken genitals. Hamburglar, why are you doing this? Oh, buddy. How's your daughter? Did you ever tell her who her real father was? Does she know about the night of passion in the hamburger patch? Mommy! Wait in the car, honey. Okay. As for you, Grimace, let's just say you really enjoyed picking from the kids' menu, didn't you? <laughs> now, with all the formalities out of the way, listen up. I'm running McDonald Land now, and things are gonna be a lot different around here. <laughs> Holy shit! I, yeah, I know. I just just wanted to bake you some bread, you know? Jesse, have I ever told you that you're useless? Yes. Well, I'll tell you again. You are useless. You're gonna eat this. No, I am not. Yes, you are. And you're gonna like I it. would rather die than eat I bake bread. this for you. Please, shine. Alright, do it. Not. Do it. Alright, fine, you happy? Gummy Bear, wake up today is a special day. Today is Thanksgiving Day. Gummy Bear, please don't ruin this. I will be waiting for you in three hours. Uh, I'm ready for everything, and I hope Gummy Bear don't throw in it. Of course, Gummy Bear. 
I told you in three hours. You can hear whatever you songs you want or you made like Nuki Nuki or I'm a gummy bear. I know Gummy Bear, you're excited like our old kid. Hey Gummy Bear, can you put us thanks for giving music rather than your annoying songs? Gummy Bear, we are not hearing your annoying songs for this Thanksgiving, your songs are not allowed in our house. Yes they are, because the kids will be hypnotized and every time hearing that annoying I am a Gummy Bear song. So put us relaxing Thanksgiving music instead. Gummy Bear, how dare you putting us annoying music rather than relaxing music? Do you want to get out of Black Friday shopping and go to your bed early? This is the worst bread I've ever had in my life. You know, if you have nothing good to say, why don't you just not say anything, all right? I'm I don't just need giving you my judging the opinion, old Jesse. square. I am the one who bakes. Wow, it's getting really rainy and rainy. Mommy, can you stand in this room? And you look in the snow. Hi, Mommy. Went for a walk. Caillou. I don't think he knows there's a hurricane coming. Look at the news. So, um, they're saying this is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Okay, Rosie, you stay here. Boris and I will go find Caillou. I'll get back to work. If it's terrible, why'd you eat more? You are not the one that in my charge bread here. is the best bread you you've are an ever insignificant had. Little right? mosquito I don't need any of this. Me. I quit. You're in danger? On average, a single person will visit 130 web pages per day. But what's scary is that an estimated 10% of all websites on the internet are malicious or out to get you. Seriously, so many websites, hackers, even the government are all on the hunt to invade your computers, phones, etc. to get your personal information to either sell to the highest bidder or to use against you. And this is why so many people use VPN. But what do VPNs actually do? Well, well, they encrypt your data in private sessions so that no one can invade your sessions, see your viewing history, or see any of your personal information. That's why you see tons of influencers on the internet promoting them, because it's really the only way to stay safe in today's modern world. I think there's tons of good VPNs to use, but personally, I recommend Clone VPN, which you can get with my code, VG-102. And now you know how. The war for music on the internet? Long before Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, YouTube Music, and Amazon Music Unlimited who uses them. There was a website between 1999 and 2001 called Napster. Keep in mind, the internet was brand new. There was no streaming services, no YouTube, and no VPN. People didn't really understand the World Wide Web just yet. So when file streaming service Napster was made for a couple college students who wanted to share MP3 files around, it exploded, and you could basically find and download any song in the world from the platform. Of course, artists didn't like that they weren't selling records or iPod songs for a dollar a piece. So Napster got sued. Oh, First by Metallica, then Eminem, and then everyone else. They filed for bankruptcy in 2000. And shut down. Although fast forward to today, you can find any song on YouTube, put it into a YouTube MP3 downloader, and get the exact same result. So how far did we really come? But that's world domination and why it's a bad idea. World domination is nearly impossible, and after you've achieved it, then comes the question of how long will it last? You hear many villains in movies talking about ruling the world, but what exactly do they plan on doing with it after it's in their control? Interestingly, there have been cases of nations or rulers coming close, such as Genghis Khan in the early 13th century or British in the 18th and 19th centuries, and actually close is generous. But both of them were stopped. The truth is that no matter how big your armies are or how much funding you have, the world is just too big. Not true, we will win. Uh, what? <laughs> Another funny joke. Uh, okay. You can't possibly conquer the land and the sea with a massive navy and army. At some point, not only do you run out of money, but you run out of willing soldiers on the planet. Unless you're Disney or Jeff Bezos. If they decide to rule the world, yeah, we should just surrender. But now you know about...
Can we upload our brain into a computer? The concept of living forever is as old as time, yet unfortunately every single person who's dreamed of this over the years has died. But scientists wonder if there's a way to escape death by uploading our brain into a computer. So, is it possible? Well, in theory, scientists have concluded yes. Although with a few minor caveats. Primarily that we wouldn't actually be transferring ourselves into a computer. We'd really just be the computer, or AI, making a clone clone of our brain. But the issues we face today is not only that we don't yet have the technology to scan the brain, but that we don't have the processing power to match the way our brains work. We have millions of synapses firing off at once to create our thoughts, and the supercomputer that would be needed to manage this is unfathomable. Although to be fair, computers used to take up a whole room, and now we've managed to shrink it into a laptop, and even further, a phone. So scientists believe that, with luck, we'll manage to have our whole brains and computers by 2045. And now you won't have to wonder. I don't feel too good, Mr. Stark. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. One year later. Oh, I don't feel too good. No. Oh. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. Oh, Jesus. It's getting dark. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. I don't want to go, Mr. Stark. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. Dad? Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. Can I call you Dad? Mr. Stark. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. <laughs> Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. You're... You're my dad, right, Mr. Stark? I'm not your dad. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not your dad. Then why did I get you this, Mr. Stark? Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. Did you hide uh, this? Uh, uh, oh, Mr. Stark, oh... Oh, I don't want to go. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. You're my dad, though, right, Mr. Stark? Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. Mm -hmm. You're my big, rich daddy. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. I heard you from the great beyond, Mr. Stark. I heard what you said. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. That's not good enough, Mr. Stark. That's not good enough for me. Our world's about to forget the Clayton Rayhoff's dream. It was the only option, Tony. It was the only option. All right, let's do this one last time. <laughs> Hi. I promised I'd do a face reveal, so uh, here it is. All right. Whew. Okay. So, what'd you think? Am I sexy enough for you? Are my eyes as reminiscent of jades and emeralds as you thought they'd be? Is my hair as luscious and blonde as you hoped? Are my lips as plump and soft as you dreamed of? Of course not. Because it's just a dream. I will watch some of the crackbacks videos. It's this closing time. You know this can't be. Don't be sad, my brother. He will start to upload again after one week. Who are you? One you Jay? I can't hear you! <laughs> Where'd my pencil go? <laughs> Jesus.
try checking up your no. Oh. <laughs> what well, give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Subscribe, please don't make me. Here, take don't take the picture for the thumbnail. Please don't give me any more. Please Did you get it? Uh, I don't want this. I don't gift. know. It looks kind of weird, I man. I, I, don't I don't know. Hey, it's fine. Subscribe. We'll just upscale it with AI or something. We'll be fine. Let's go.